This is a 1931 Matchler Silver Hawk. Four cylinder, 600 cc, producing 26 horsepower. Pretty good for the time. This bike really, I think, should have been a milestone development for Matchless as a manufacturer. Unfortunately, at the shocking price of 75 pounds, it uh, coincided with great economic slowdown and uh, was never very successful. About 550 of them made in its uh, four or five year history. And interestingly, it's the same year that uh, Ariel introduced their square four. And there was, it was five pounds cheaper, I believe, and you know, difficult to compete with. I believe Matchless chose the four-cylinder configuration because what it did have was a lot of power, a lot of torque, easy to ride. It was said by journalists at the time that you could go from six miles per hour to 80 miles per hour in top gear, which is a point I have never personally confirmed, but th that was its reputation. Um, there were other features about it, the cantilever rear suspension, the front and rear brakes were linked, so you could use both brakes with the rear brake pedal. The dashboard strikes me as a luxury addition. You've got the ammeter, there's a clock, and the speedometer, and all the switches are up there as well. So it just gave it a little bit of uh, something special. This has got a Sturmy Archer four-speed gearbox with the hand shift and bevel drive overhead camshaft. Interestingly, four into one exhaust through the use of actually separate exhaust manifolds, both front and rear. At some point, a previous owner has converted the electrics from six to 12 volt, put in an electronic ignition, um, other than that, I'm not aware of anything that is, is substantially changed from original. You know, to summarize this machine, I would look no further than Matchless's marketing statement at the, at the time, which was a sporting mount with ultra-refined performance.